Being a global leader in development and one of the top five military powers in the world, India is constantly developing new arms and ammunition and improving on previous versions of its weaponry. With security challenges increasing both from within and across borders, the country seems poised to continue with its development agenda. In this video, we bring you the 10 future weapons in India that is currently being developed. So let's jump right into it. At number 10 is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft. The HAL AMCA is an Indian program to develop a fifth generation fighter aircraft. The Indian Aeronautical Development Agency is responsible for designing the plane, while Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will be the primary contractor responsible for assembly. This advanced medium combat aircraft will be a single-seat twin-engine stealth all-weather multi-role fighter aircraft. Visibility study and the preliminary design stage of this aircraft has been completed and the project entered the detailed design phase in February 2019. A model of this aircraft was shown at Aero India and the design is expected to be finalized by the end of 2019. AMCA will reportedly be unveiled in 2024 and a total of four prototypes are planned initially and the first flight is expected in 2025 or 2026. Production is expected to begin in 2029. At number 9 is Hindustan Aeronautics Tejas Mark II. The HAL Tejas Mark II is a planned single-engine delta-wing multi-role fighter designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is for the Indian Air Force and it is a further development of the HAL Tejas Mark I. The program, which began in 1980s to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters, and HAL Tejas Mark II is being designed to replace fourth-generation fighters like Jaguar's Dassault Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 UPG in the Indian Air Force. Tejas Mark II first is expected in 2023. This aircraft will have improved survivability, maintainability, and obsolescence mitigation. The cockpit design has been improved with bigger sights, smart multifunction displays, and smart head-up display. Tejas Mark II will also possess better tactical strike, air reconnaissance, air defense, and maritime roles which is enough for a light fighter and it can continue up to 2055 till it becomes obsolete. At number 8 is Brahmos II or Brahmos Mark II. Brahmos 2 is a hypersonic cruise missile currently under joint development by Russia and India's Defense Research and Development Organization. They have together formed the Brahmos Aerospace Private Limited, and it is the second of the Brahmos series of cruise missiles. The Brahmos 2 is expected to have a range of 450 kilometers or 280 miles and a speed of Mach 7 that is 8,500 kilometers or 5,300 miles per hour. During the cruise stage of flight, the missile will be propelled by a scramjet air-breathing jet engine. Other details, including production cost and physical dimensions of the missiles, are yet to be published. It is expected to be ready for testing by 2020. At number 7 is Agni-6. Agni-6 will be a four-stage intercontinental ballistic missile, which is in the hardware development phase after its design phase was completed. It is expected to have multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle as well as maneuverable re-entry vehicle. It will be taller than its predecessor Agni-5 and the mass of Agni-6 will be between 55 to 70 tons. The government of India is yet to approve the project although DRDO has completed all calculations and started the engineering work. It is reported to be the latest and the most advanced version among the Agni missiles. According to sources, Agni-6 missile is likely to carry up 10 MIRV warheads and will have a strike range of 12,000 km, though DRDO has refused to confirm the missile's range. At number 6 is INS Arigat. INS Arigat is the second Arihant-class submarine. She is the second nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine being built by India. It is estimated to be commissioned this year, and Arigat will have one seven-blade propeller powered by a pressurized water reactor. It can achieve a maximum speed of 12 to 15 knots when on surface and 24 knots when submerged. 
The submarine has four launch tubes in its hump just like her predecessor, and she can carry up to 12 K-15 Sagarika missiles or four of the underdevelopment K-4 missiles with a range of 3,500 kilometers or 2,200 miles. At number 5 is UCAV Gothic. Gothic is an autonomous stealthy unmanned combat air vehicle being developed by DRDO for the Indian Air Force. Gothic is still under development and its first flight is expected to be between 2024 to 2025. The project cost is 2,650 crores, that is 420 millions, and will cruise at medium altitude and will be capable of carrying two or more guided strike weapons with onboard sensors for targeting and weapon guidance. Details of the projects are classified, and the UCAV will be capable of releasing missiles, bombs, and precision guided munitions. The design is in line with what former DRDO Chief Controller for Aeronautics said in 2007 that India's combat drone would be a stealthy flying wing concept aircraft with internal weapons bay and a turbofan engine. At number 4 is Future Main Battle Tanks. Currently, Indian Armed Forces use three different types of main battle tanks and six different series of main battle tanks. With these, the DRDO will be advancing its future tanks on features like stealth, armor, reduced penetration by most lethal weapons, elimination of parasitic mass leading to a weight reduction, excellent corrosion resistance, inherent thermal and acoustic insulation properties, and active and passive protection system. At number 3 is INS Vishal Aircraft Carrier. It will be nuclear-powered and nearly 50% larger than INS Vikramaditya. INS Vishal will be able to accommodate up to 55 aircraft, and the INS Vishal will be the first non-Western aircraft carrier equipped with a complex Katabar launch capability. Katabar aircraft launch systems put less strain on the airframe of planes during takeoff, reducing maintenance costs in the long run and also allows carrier-based aircraft to carry a heavier weapons payload. Furthermore, Caterpillar launch system increased the sortie rates of carrier air wings by allowing a faster landing and takeoff rate. The INS Vishal will follow her sister vessel, the INS Vikrant, into carrier service in the next decade in sport flat top flight deck. At number 2 is Indian Ballistic Missile Defense Program. The Indian Ballistic Missile Defense Program is an initiative to develop and deploy a multi-layered ballistic missile defense system to protect India from ballistic missile attacks. Introduced in light of the ballistic missile threats from Pakistan and China, it is a double-tiered system consisting of two land and sea-based interceptor missiles, namely the Prithvi Air Defense Missile for high-altitude interception and the Advanced Air Defense Missile for lower-altitude interception. The two-tiered shield should be able to intercept any incoming missile launch from 5,000 kilometers away. The system also includes an overlapping network of early warning and tracking radars as well as command and control posts. The PAD and AAD was tested in December 2006 and 2007 respectively and India became the fourth country to have successfully developed an anti-ballistic missile system after United States, Russia and Israel. The system has undergone several tests, but system is yet to be officially commissioned. At number 1, we have Project 18 Destroyer. The Project 18 class destroyers will be equipped with advanced systems such as electromagnetic railguns, laser-based close-in weapon systems such as AESA and PESA radars and active and passive array sonars. Kakinda Shipyard, in collaboration with Mazgaon Docks, will lay keel for the destroyers that will have a displacement of 9,000 tons. The destroyer will also have an X-band optronic mass detector radar. For the project, DRDO, in collaboration with Bharat Electronics, will be designing next generation of radar systems to be incorporated into the Plant 18 class. The already developed AMDS will be worked on further and the AESA and PESA radars will see extended ranges and possible merger into one multi-band radar. Project 18 class destroyers will have enough space for a single utility helicopter. The destroyers will be equipped with advanced UCAVs and UAVs. A possible compact version to be deployed on the destroyers of the EMALS is being worked out. 
So guys, we've come to the end of the video. If you've enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to smash that like button and that subscribe button. Thank you so much for viewing in. Until next time, bye-bye.